Hey up woodlanders. So you fancy having a go at making some charcoal? Well this could quite possibly be one of the cheapest ways to make barbecue charcoal. So stay tuned as we use this to make this. First things first, you're going to need an oil drum like this one. This is a 210 litre or 45 gallon drum. You don't want one with a clip on lid. You also want to make sure that if it's got holes in the top that the end plugs are still in place. But what you need to be able to do is crank these up tight because you don't want air getting into these. And for a little bit of a deluxe addition you'll need a couple of hinges. You'll also need something to cut out a hole so I'm going to use an angle grinder today. You'll need a pair of gloves to make sure your fingers stay on your hands. Some self-tapping screws. But before we do any cutting at all, you want to make sure whatever has been in this container, if it has been a flammable liquid, don't use an angle grinder or any kind of naked flame to cut the hole out because you'll have no eyebrows left. Or you could use what's known as a jigsaw, which is a reciprocating miniature saw. And you can use that because it doesn't make a spark. They tend to cut rather than grind. With all the safety stuff out of the way, let's crack on and cut some holes. First job is pop your barrel on its side like this. Then we're going to mark a slot in the top here and you want the slot to be eight inches or about 200 millimeters apart so a line down there and a line down there parallel to each other The next little job is your two T hinges. You want to just put a little slight curve on them to form the same sort of curve as the barrel. Now I've decided on this one is to attach these first and then flip them out of the way so you can do your cutting. You want to make sure you file all the edges off if you've used a grinder or a jigsaw just to make sure you don't cut your hands on it. When you're using it, you'll be going in and out of the barrel so you don't want any sharp edges on this, this underside or on the lid. And so that is basically it. The barrel on its side method of making barbecue charcoal. I add the hinges so it makes that whole shutting it down process easier. The next step you'll want to do with this one is to give it its first burn. I tend to use just some brashy material for that, just some twigs. Have a first burn, get rid of all the paint on the outside and it will help to sterilise and clean the inside. 
and then of course you'll be wanting your first burn. So we'll do that on another video. So to give you some context, I was using this barrel method of making barbecue charcoal for a number of years before I went on to use charcoal retorts. An excellent reference is this particular book by Rebecca Oakes. I'll leave a link in the description below. Thanks for watching. And if you're able to, make your own charcoal. See you on the next one. What you see here with the smoke, it's quite an interesting effect. And it's what, I think, what the Contiki kiln design is based upon because you can use this style for making biochar as well and what it is it's where the oxygen comes around the curve of the barrel and tries to drop in and it keeps a lot of the volatile gases circulating in that area which is what you want you don't want too many volatile gases going into the atmosphere so that's kind of illustrates what's going on that that sweeping curve effect and eventually what if it was this fire in here was hot enough, those gases would start to ignite as it circles round, creating that, a gasification process on this top layer.